Hi, I'm Emily Lakdawalla, Senior Editor and Planetary Evangelist for the Planetary Society. We're here at Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory for the so exciting New Horizons flyby of Pluto. I'm here because I was born on the day that New Horizons was sent up to Pluto, and I'm sure all the other Pluto pals are excited as well. So you guys are born on uh, January 19th, 2006? Yep. Right on. We're going to see some amazing photos of a place that's never been explored before. We've had so many ideas about what Pluto might look like, and we're only just beginning to see the reality for the first time, and it's more exciting than we could have imagined. I've been following this mission since before it launched, and now, nine and a half years later, it's finally happening. It's finally flying by Pluto. Hey man, good morning. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh man. We're gonna put a picture up any second. Oh god. Is that right? When I stand back this morning, I have to pinch myself. Um, look what we accomplished. It's it's truly amazing that humankind can go out and explore these worlds. Hey, I'm, I'm Clyde's son. It was a fantastic voyage for us all the way through life to this point right here. I just love that it's round, yeah. that Pluto is round. Yeah. And you pick up a rock, and just to think of a rock so massive, it forms into a ball by itself. I got a tattoo. Oh, right on. Oh, yeah. So the P is the, the Pluto yeah, astronomical yeah. symbol, and then the CH is for Sharon. Way to go, man. Hey, 15 you, years. You worked on this, too. Yeah, well, yeah, I was in Mikulski's office oh. in 2000. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And Planetary Society really, really supported us. Oh, man, the this down. is our thing. It made, made a big difference. That's how you get stuff done. If we took the Earth out where Pluto is, it would look like this? It would freeze up like that? It would, it would we definitely don't know. freeze up. In it fact, would, uh, you yeah. know, most of what we're breathing is the same nitrogen that's in Pluto's atmosphere. Same, same stuff. Right. Congratulations. Nicely so done. Really and of course, anything the Planetary Society can do, yeah. whatever you need, you okay. let us know, man. Thank you, sir. Well, the thing that I'm most excited to see on the image of Pluto is its diversity. There are so many different kinds of landscapes. It tells you that there's a complicated geologic story to tell here. And the geologists are just buzzing with excitement about this image, and they can't wait to get more. I follow you and all these kind of things and read your posts. It's a pleasure to meet you. Alex. Pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. You know, we had you know, so many missions, you know, starting with Mariner 4, 50 years ago. There's so much more to explore. There's oh, so many other worlds in the Kuiper Belt. There's the rest of the Uranian moons. We've only seen one half of them. And then there's Venus. You know, I really want us to get back to Venus someday. There's just so many other places yet to go, and I, and I hope that NASA will take us to all those wonderful places. We're going down to the main auditorium to uh, wait the handshake signal. No so it's, uh, it's an exciting time. Mm -hmm. Symbols. Getting data. Okay, copy that. We are in lock with telemetry with the spacecraft. Oh. Hey man. Spacecraft got past Pluto, sent back the handshake signal. Emily Lockdawalla for the Planetary Society. Can you tell me anything about what kind of data you may have gotten down? <laughs> Well, also, we should... congratulations. We, we didn't have any autonomy rule firings of what that means in uh, layman terms is that the spacecraft um, was happy. <laughs> this is what humans do best. The space exploration brings out the best in us. So this is a classic example of that.